Hello and welcome back to Hand Pannery. Four weeks, 20 challenges. This is week two. Um, today we're looking at autopilot base technique. This one will be a little bit freer um, than the last couple of exercises in that I invite you to actually explore and find your own melodies, but I'm gonna teach you a base pattern. That will be your autopilot. And then the melody will be your free hand to explore and do whatever you want. So the bass pattern looks like this. Um, it's gonna be a note, a note again, a slap. So I'm just staying in place and rotating, and slapping on the steel between the tone fields, and then that note again. So it's one, two, three. to start on note two, then move up to note three, then move down to note one and play this one two times round. So it looks like this. autopilot technique tutorials and, and uh, grooves and, and improvisations and stuff. Um, the reason why I always have my right hand on auto autopilot is because this is my dominant hand and I don't have to think about what it's doing so much as my non-dominant hand. So I know that I can trust this one to be able to keep in rhythm more than I can trust this one to keep in rhythm because I haven't practiced as much with this one. Um, so even though it might look like the non-dominant is doing the more complicated things, Actually, this is a really tough job to keep this in time all the way through while the other explores. Here, I'm gonna be attaching my thought to my left hand and deciding on the fly where I want the melody to go. So I want to be able to let my right hand just do what it wants, right? Um, and in order to trust that, I have to know that it's my dominant hand, basically. So, this is actually a bass line from an old composition of mine. I haven't played in years. So what we're gonna do next is place the left hand on note four here and just play on beat one like this. And then I invite you to move that around. this way one two three uh, sorry one two three four one two three four then I invite you now to move on the one and the two right and the three and the four yeah <laughs> every single number like this one intentional with my melodies. I'm thinking about the movements that I'm making, the direction that I'm moving in. I'm also thinking about when I play these bass notes, I'm in my mind, I'm attaching them to a full chord. So when I play this note, I think, oh, that's the bottom note of a B flat chord, which is these three notes, right? Which I know because I played with those yesterday in yesterday's video. So from there, I might build my melody from notes within that chord. So I might choose these two notes. Then when I move over here, I might choose these two notes because that's part of that chord, 
And when I'm playing this one, I could either play these two notes or these two notes because they're also part of the same chord. Or I could be completely devious and just dance around and move around. But as long as I finish um, or have my most prominent uh, melody notes within that chord, I know that it's always going to sound good. So I'm being more intentional here. Another note is that the rhythm is starting to feel a bit boring. So now I want to start to introduce some ease and uh, some skippiness to this. I want to start to play these um, melody notes in the in-betweens. Right? And even though I'm staying on one note again, because I've changed the rhythm, sounds really interesting again. So what I'm doing is I'm playing one, two, and three, and four. Right, we've got that nice little syncopated rhythm. One, two, and three, and four. 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 One, two. Yeah, and then we can start to move that around. Now it's starting to sound like my composition. And notice that the way that I'm moving them is again keeping within the chord. Pilot is to be able to momentarily break away from it to introduce some other little interesting melody moments. So my right hand is on autopilot, right? It's playing the same thing over and over and over again while my left is exploring and experimenting. Sorry about the banging. Not sure what's happening there. <laughs> um, but if I wanted to kick it up a notch, make it a bit more exciting, then once this right hand is super comfortable, every now and then I can break away, add a little quick melody note and then come back to the job, right? Those little breakaways are really important um, for getting these um, melodical moments out of the same re repetitious feeling, right? So notice how I... some more of those little syncopated melodies um, and allow uh, for more exciting melodies to happen because I got both hands available. So we've explored so far this week autopilot technique, open technique, autopilot bass and then the next step stepping away from that just every now and then to add that little bit of extra melody. Um, tomorrow we've got the final one uh, that is combining all of those things um, so make sure you check that out but otherwise until then enjoy and I look forward to hearing your own compositions and improvisations please tag me hashtag I want to see what you come up with all right see you soon <laughs>